Hi guys and welcome to the Wishing Shed. Today I'm going to show you how to put together this adorable little elf doll. The techniques used could be applied to various art dolls and creations, so I really hope you enjoy. We're going to start making the body, so this is going to be the neck. So we just twist those pieces together. And once you have the length for the body, you want to attach the arms. Then we measure out the arm length and bend where the hands are going to be. And leave about a centimetre excess for the hands and just cut that and pinch together. So now we just attach the legs. And these excess bits here from the body, we can just wrap those back up and around just to, to keep them out the way. And measure the feet and bend those over. Just a quick tip if you're going to make smaller dolls, then you only really need two pipe cleaners and you can make um, the body and legs from one section and then the arms from the other. Great, so now we can start wrapping our little elf's body and we're going to start with the arms. So just measure out your wool and you want a nice thin long strip. And then we're going to start halfway. This just helps keep the arms nice and even because we're using the same strip of wool for both arms. So it should help keep the arms even and we'll wrap all the way around. Wrapping around the hands a few times to help build them up. And then you can needle felt into place. So I'm just using my 38 star needle here and I'm going to needle felt up the arm as well and now we turn and we do the other arm okay so I want my elf to have um, bigger hands so I'm going to wrap some more wool around each hand to build them up in measuring out two equal amounts and we just wrap those around I'm going to try not to add more around the wrist area because I don't want the wrist to be thick I just want the hands to be bigger so we're going to build those up and keep the wall keep your fingers here to stop the wall from slipping down onto the wrist and then carefully needle felt into place And then keep felting and flatten the hands between your fingers, so you have to push quite firmly. Flatten them down. Okay, now let's wrap the legs the same way. And the other leg. And you can always make the legs a little bit thicker if you need to just by adding a little bit more wool. Especially around the top area. Just use your fingers to help manipulate the wall around the pipe cleaner to even it all out. And I actually like to roll the wall around the pipe cleaner just between the palms of your hands and that really helps to even it out. And just measuring the bend again in the ankle. 
and want to keep the ankles free from more wool so we keep our fingers there use your third finger to help anchor it on and then we can build up the rest of the foot I'm just going to put some a little bit more wool just around the very tips of the feet to build up the toes and push to make the toes flat along the top. Okay, so I'm happy with the size and shape of my feet. So now I'm going to wrap the body. So leaving a little bit at the bottom, I'm gonna wrap all the way around nice and tightly and around the chest area and up onto the neck and around and back across the shoulder the other way and around and needle felt that and attach the other section going to needle felt a little bit up onto the neck leaving around a centimetre of pipe cleaner free so that we can attach our head later. And I want to build up the lower part of the body a bit more. Just go in between the legs like so. And turn to the side and felt. So carry on felting for around five minutes. And again, you can roll the body just to help smooth and even it out. Now I'm adding a little bit more wool just around the tops of the arms here, so not much. Holding on the chest and just wrapping around the very tops. So now's the time to look at your little elf's body and see if you want to add any little bits. Like I'm just going to add a little bit on this side where it's a little bit uneven and then you can just needle felt that on. And putting the body aside now, I'm going to move on to the head. Okay, I've got around um, four grams of wool here, so we're just going to roll that up. And just roll it in between the palms of your hands as well. And then I'm swapping to my multi-tool here and I find that works better if you use the thinner needles, so the finer gauge needles. And then rather than just jabbing, I find if you dig it right in, that really helps to compact the wool down. Okay, it's not quite big enough yet, so I'm gonna wrap some more wool around. solution made from a little bit of washing up liquid and some PVA glue and I'm going to put in a couple of drops of lavender oil that's just going to make it smell really nice so we just apply some of that smooth it around This 
step is optional of course, you don't have to do this. So before I um, add the facial features, I'm going to work out where to make the hole to attach the neck. So you don't want it directly in the middle, you want it slightly towards the back and centre. So around about there and then you can use an awl tool or just a pair of very sharp scissors but be careful your fingers and just cut away and twist and just make a little hole. Now let's work on the facial features and I like to sew in the eyes first so that I can work out um, an even kind of position and I'm using little 10 millimeter shoe button eyes, just little black shoe button eyes for my little elf. But you can get all different colors, you can get different sizes, so it really depends on what you decide to go for. I've chosen an, to uh, use an embroidery scheme to sew the eyes in. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a marker pen to work out the position for my eyes. So, Make sure you leave enough room in the middle. So I'm going to anchor my um, cotton on first, just underneath the neck where the um, join is, so that's going to be hidden, and anchor that on with a blanket stitch. And then come up through the head, out through our mark and then we can sew the eyes in you can as I say you can get all different types of eyes you can get some that just glue in um, or you can needle felt the eyes on it's entirely up to you and then we sew back down through the same um, exit position and down to the neck again and pull that so let's keep needle felting then around to create the eye socket Pull it back down until you have the desired effect. Then we're going to sew back up to our other eye position. And attach the other eye. that they line up at the base of the, each eye and then we can pull nice and tight and just do a few simple blanket stitches to sign off. And I'm going to sew back through the wall, pull that in and that will just hide the stitch and then just cut off the excess and then we make the nose and then keeping the end uh, free so we can attach that to the head we're going to wrap just wrap the wall around getting thinner towards the end Until you have the size that you want. So I'm going to make some eyelids. Just okay, and we just bend that around and the needle felt on. And we'll cover these joins in a minute, so don't worry about those. And then this one. I want to cover these joins that are on the side of each eye, so using a tiny bit of the same colour wool. 
we just layer that over and needle felt on. Okay, and don't worry about this join in the middle yet because we're going to attach the nose first and then we can blend it all together onto the nose. So we work out our nose position and the same way that we made a hole for the neck, we're just gonna make a little hole for the nose. And let's needle felt all around the base of the nose now. And now just down between the eyes and onto the top of the nose. Um, so if you're going to use felt fabric for the ears, then I like to transfer the stencil to a sticky label and cut that out. And then it just makes it easier to cut around. So just at the corner of each eye, just sew that down. Make sure that you fold each ear the right way so that the arch is at the top. Needle felt over these joints. decide you want to dress your little elf then now's the time to do it. So I've just made a little um, tunic here cut from felt fabric. A shade just around the edges. Okay let's just sew that together. the head now. A couple of drops of super glue on the pipe cleaner section only and then some fast grab tacky glue. You don't need much, just a little bit. We don't want it going all onto the wall and then push right up in and hold. So you could always needle felt a little mouth on. If you did decide to needle felt, it might be a good idea to do that before you attach the head just to avoid the risk of getting any glue onto your felting needle. I'm actually going to sew on a little mouth. And just before I sew on the mouth, I'm going to use the same mixture that I used for the body to smooth over my little elf's nose and face. a little knot under here. And pull that down and back to the back of the head. And then just carefully needle felt over. Okay, and then just flattening the feet down a bit more. And I'm going to sew the indentation for the toes. Just make sure that goes in.
and I'm just using a sewing needle to carefully pull out some of the wool just to shape the toes a bit more. And there you go, that's our little elf doll all finished. I really hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks ever so much for stopping by today, guys. Stay safe, stay kind, stay magical, and we'll see you back here soon.